good morning class 11th and 12th today's topic is a crucial topic of finding log now there are many formulas in class 11th and 12th numericals for which you need to calculate the value of log now i have written down the steps that we will be following for your convenience but before i actually go to these steps i need you to understand how does this table look like you are welcome to the channel by seema makhijani i'm trying to make chemistry easier for you bless you all please keep subscribing and please keep liking the videos now this is how a log table looks like you should understand the construction of a log table before you are actually able to check the values in it now on the extreme left of the table you will start the values from 10 these are not the decimal values you have it from 10 11 12 13 14 then you have 20 then you have 25 30 35 40 45 and 49 the values are up to 49 on one side of the log table generally on the other side you will have the values beginning from 50 that is generally up to it goes up to 99 which means the extreme left of the log table has got only two digits so whenever you are going to locate the values it has to be the first two digits are from the extreme left column now coming to the rows in the rows as you can see it begins from 0 ends up to 9 and then again starts from 1 now this part of the log tables is also called as mean difference in some of the tables that you will observe in my table they have not written it down but for your information this is also called as the mean difference so whenever you are finding the log your first two digits are to be located from this end the third digit is from this part of the log tables the fourth digit is from this for example if you have a number like 1 2 3 4 which means 1 2 will be on the extreme left this is it the 3 will be from here so your value is 1 2 the three value is here that makes it 0899 and then the four you will not take this four mind you the last or the fourth digit is again to be taken from the mean difference which becomes here it comes out to be 14 so for the upper values the mean difference is the upper value in this case otherwise for the lower values the mean difference is the lower so if my number is 1 2 3 4 then i take 1 2 from here third value the 3 is from here so 0899 and for the 4 i will be using this value 14 so the value would be 0899 plus 14 is your value from the tables now we would move ahead with the actual practice of the question finding log and the steps i have written it down for you for convenience but i would be doing it step by step let's start the first example that i have taken is a four digit number log of 2273 is to be found let's look at the steps the steps say the first step is write the number in the standard form now what do you mean by standard form by introducing the power of 10 standard form ka matlab hota hai decimal after the first digit which means i change my number into the standard form so this number now would be written as log of 2.273 into 10 to the power 3 is the way to write the number in standard form step 2 the power of the 10 becomes the whole number value of your answer which means your result your answer in this case would be this is the whole number value of your answer so this is 3 now moving ahead now ignore the decimal ignore this decimal here and locate it in the log tables which means you have to locate this number in the tables so when you are looking up the tables you will need to do 22 extreme left then locate the number in the seventh labeled row and then from the mean difference you will take the value from the third numbered row which means let's begin this part let's take the 22 this is your 22 extreme left 22 then you have to take a 7 and then a 3 so this is 22 in the seventh row mind you this is zero 
please do not take the first row as 1 this is 0 please go to the 8th row or the row which has a 7 so the value here is 3560 so your answer for 22 in the 7th row is 3560 and then you have to locate it in the third row of the mean difference so the third row of the mean difference is again the value is only how much is it check it out 6 so your number is 3560 and a 6 in it which means your value comes out to be after locating this this was 3560 and from the third row of the mean table you got the value to be 6 so your value comes out to be add to it 3566 now the last step is ignore the decimal and locate it in the log tables this you've done thus this value which you get which is this is the decimal part of the answer so your answer is this so when you talk about log of 2273 this is how you would answer the question i'll take another example to drill the concept let us take the next is you have to find the log of 2.273 this time. Now how would it be different? When you find log of 2.273, the first step was to write it in the standard form. Luckily, this is already in the standard form. So it is log of 2.273. You can write it as 10 to the power 0 if you have to introduce it. Because 10 to the power 0 is nothing but 1. Now. In the tables, what do you have to check? Again, ignore the decimal. In the tables, you would check 22 in 7 and then in 3, which we have already done. So you very well know this value would come out to be 3650 when you locate 22 in the 7th labeled row. And then from the mean difference in the third row, you have a 6. So this value you very well know is 3566. Now, how is the answer going to be different? The last part, this value is only your decimal plot. So, which means your answer is, this is the part of the whole number value. So, 0 point. This is your decimal part of the answer. 0 0.3566 will be the answer if you have to find the log of 2.273. While if you had to find it for 2273, this is where it becomes different. Coming to the third example log of 0 0.03258 now the first step is to report the number in standard form so in standard form the number would be you have to find the log of 3.258 into 10 to the power of minus 2 now moving ahead now in the tables for the tables you only need to ignore the decimal which means you have a 32 now you locate 32 in the fifth labeled column and then in the 8th labeled column for the mean difference. Let us look it up. In the log tables, you require the horizontal row marked for 32. There is 32, it is here. So you have to locate 32. First of all, this is your 32. 32 is to be located in 5. So this is 32. And in the 5th column, the value is 5119. In the 5th column, the value is 432 in the fifth marked column. The value is 5119. And then you have to take it up into the eighth column from the mean difference. The value in the eighth column is 11. So, what you would do is your values now come up to be 5119 plus from the mean difference you have 11. So, this value comes out to be 5119. 3, 0. This is your decimal part and it is a positive value. Now, your answer is you have this as the whole number value. So, you have a minus 2. Now, the decimal part is a positive value. I deliberately took this example so that you do not make errors. Now, to this you need to add this decimal part which means you have to add 0 0.5130 which is a positive value so you cannot just write it as minus 2.5130 this would be wrong the reason is minus 2 is the whole number value while this is a positive value which means if you do the mathematics here you have a minus 2 
and you have a plus 0 0.5130 so your actual answer would be minus of 1.487 all right moving to the last example this is my last example log of 32578 step 1 write the number in standard form so 3.2 5, 7, 8 into 10 to the power 4. Unfortunately, now this number is to be located in the log tables and this is your whole number in the answer. So, your answer in this case is equal to 4 point something from the tables. In the tables, you have to locate 32 in 5 and then in 7. But this is a 5 digit number. Please round it off to a 4 digit number. Because in the log tables, you cannot locate a number which is of 5 digits. So, can I now write this number as 3.25? 8 is to be rounded off. 7, I will change 7 to 8. So, the number becomes 3.258 into 10 to the power 4. Your 4 goes as the whole number value. Now, we have to locate it into the tables. I have deliberately taken a similar number so that the location in the table is already done. So, in the tables, what you have to check is 32 in 5 and then in the mean difference row of 8. This value as we had already done in the last example would come out to be 5119. When you locate 32 into 5, please check your own log table so that you get the confidence and the knack of it. So, go to 32, check in the fifth column and in the fifth labeled column. The first column is 0 mind you, please do not forget that. 5119 and in the 8th you have 11 adding the 2 your value comes out to be 5130 so your answer is this is the decimal part it is a positive value your number was already positive so the answer is 5130 total answer for the log of 32578 would be this with this I conclude my Class on finding log, there are many chapters, many numericals and many formulas in chemistry which will be requiring logs and this is generally an area where the students fumble and this was on a request of one of my students, Ruchika, who has requested me to put this lesson for the convenience of the students of class 11th and 12th. So, here is a lecture for you people to get the grasp of the numericals. Please keep liking, please keep subscribing and please keep sharing. Bless you loads. Do well in life. Bye.